Hi, welcome back to another DC tutorial. I'm PJ McTavish, and in this one, we're going to finish off the 2013 geologic geometry question. Uh, we did part A in the last video, we'll do parts B and C now. So, again, let's read through it. So, part B it is proposed to construct a motorway overpass, as shown in the image on the right, along the line DE. So, here's our image of an overpass, and there's our line DE, okay, showing you the plan of the overpass. In the space provided on the right of the map, draw a vertical section profile, or vertical section, i.e. profile, of the line DE. So they're giving it a little bit of space here, and they want you to draw the profile of DE in that space, okay, showing all the contours. Uh, the section should show the profile of the ground after the earthworks of the, motorway, of the roadway A, B have been completed, uh, but before the overpass DE has been constructed. So what I want to show here is basically the contours of the land along the line GE after the earthworks are done. Let's put in our, a few of the easier points here and then we'll show you the earthworks then after, okay? So, for the profile, you're going to have to bring your points over here to the right-hand side. And to give us a bit of space, I'm just going to mark in that that has point D there on our actual edge of the block there, alright? Okay, and that's D, and D is at an altitude, according to our contour here, follow it around, of 30. Alright, so that's 30 meters. So we need a few more, so every 5 mil, I'm going to mark in the next 5 meter rise, okay? So that's 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, uh, 60, and 65. Okay, so... Now all the points for DE are pretty straightforward, apart from the sections inside here of the earthworks, okay? Which DE is actually in. So uh, all the way up to here, okay? The top part of the line can be put in nice and easy. So I'll show you one or two points and then we'll fast forward into the rest. So this is point D here. So the next contour to hit the line is this one here. If we bring that over, actually I should bring it over in blue. And you can see that contour is the 35, so that means this altitude here is 35 meters. The next one is here. And that contour is the 40, so that's going to be 40 meters. Okay, and that's all that's to it. Wherever the contour hits the line, bring it straight across. So I'm going to do the other ones now and fast forward. Okay, so that part is going to be drawn in freehand lightly now, just drawn in freehand. So you see the road, the road was level there and it's at 40 meters. So if we bring those two points in the D line to so this one here, bring that up and it is at 40 meters. And this side is D as well. So those two points represent the road. Okay, so now the next step is, that's our road. So our contours here represent a height. So remember, we went up five meters, or five mil in this case, and represented uh, the 45 mil height. So that point there is going to be 45 meters in altitude. This point's going to be 50, 55, 60, and so on. Okay, so if I bring those contours or these points on our DE line straight up. And they're going to be representing altitudes of. So the first one here is 45, second one is 50, next one is 55, and 60, and then this point here is actually on the line DE as well. That's where we have 65. And we have a bit of a curve there then. Okay, so that's the height there. So we can join them in freehand lightly. Same with the far side. 
we need put in those contours because they weren't the southern side is done for you so we put those in and again we have 45 meters 50 meters 55 and 60 point E then so let's put in the top point so this is where 65 meets the line D E so that is 65 And that's the profile of the land done. So you see the contours of the ground and then the earth works down to the road and then the contours of the land again. Okay, so that all can join in strong now. Okay, so that is the profile of the line DE after the earthworks is done. Okay, so let's move on now to part C. So on the map, points P, Q and R are three points on the surface of the Earth. So P, Q and R here are points all on the surface and there are contours 55, 55 and 40. A vertical boreholes drilled at these three points are shown in elevation in a space provided above the map. They reveal the top surface of a stratum of ore at distances of 5 meters, 35 meters and 10 meters below P, Q, R respectively. So at each one of these points, they have drilled straight down, okay, straight down into the ground, and they've hit a layer of ore at 5 meters, 35 meters, and 10 meters, okay, respectively. So that's 5, 35, and 10. Draw the plan and elevation of the top surface of the stratum, and then determine the strike and the dip of the stratum. So draw a plan elevation of the top surface of the stratum. The plan is straightforward enough. If the points are directly below P, Q and R, then we can just join P, Q and R together. And that triangle there will represent the plan of it. Okay. The elevation then is represented by putting in the measurements underneath P, Q and R. So we have, what do we say there? We have 5 meters. So again, we're going to use our 5 mil to represent our meters. So it's 5 mil down there, that's 5 mil. Q was 35. And R was 10. So what we have here now is we have points on the stratum around the ore. And that if we join them together, that go, is going to give us the elevation of the top surface of the ore. Okay, so that was our 5 meter line. So we hit the ore at 5 meters, 35 meters, and 10. Okay, what else have I asked us now? So it says draw the plan elevation of the top surface of the stratum. That's on there, and it's the elevation, that's the plan. Determine the strike and dip of the stratum. So, strike and dip. So, the strike just means we're going to get a true length of one of those uh, on that um, stratum there. And we're going to do an auxiliary elevation. And we're going to find the angle of it, the hedral angle between it and the XY line. So, for the strike, so for the strike, I'm going to draw a line. We'll say this is our XY line here. We'll just bring it up close to the point there. So for the strike, I'm going to draw a line across from point R, parallel to the XY line. Okay, so that's parallel to the XY line there. 
and where I meet the line from P to Q there. If I bring that point down to the PQ line, join back to R, it'll give me the strike. So I'm bringing that straight down to the PQ line. Because I'm saying PQ, because that's on the P borehole, that's on the Q borehole, so PQ, so this is our point here. If I join that back to point R, that's the strike. Ends up being a true length. And now if I project along the strike, I'll get an auxiliary elevation and I can show the dip. And we're going to get our heights from the elevation. So to save a bit of room, we'll use our X, well, our X Y line is along there, I know that X Y line. So point Q is on the line. So find point Q, bring it up. This is point Q here. Get the height then for point R. Which are 10 meters, so that's point R here. That's point R. And then the height then for P is here. And that is point P. Now what you're doing here with the dip is you're finding the angle of it to the XY line. Okay, the angle to the uh, vert or the horizontal plane. So that should be a straight line. Join them together. P, Q, and R should end up being a straight line. And now the dip is the angle between the X1 and Y1 and the top layer of the stratum. That has your dip in there. Okay, so the strike is just finding the true length of it so that we can do our auxiliary view and get the dip then is the angle it makes to the X1 Y1. Okay, so that's part B and C done. So, I uh, hope that helped. If it did, leave a like. And this will probably be the last video I put up before the exam on Wednesday. So, best of luck in the DCG exam on Wednesday. And thank you and good luck.